good morning students now today we are going to discuss the general formula for error analysis okay so uh, let us look okay, let u is equal to function of u1 u2 up to un if this is equation number 1 be a function of u1 u2 un and uh, subject to the errors the corresponding error are errors are del u1 del u2 del u3 up to del un respectively and let del u be the error in u Uh, caused uh, uh, caused by the errors del u1 del u2 up to del un in u1 u2 up to un respectively then u plus del u you can write like this f of u1 plus del u1 u2 plus del u2 up to un plus del un let us suppose this is equation number 2 then we can expand this right hand side we can expand by using taylor's theorem for uh, for a function of several variable okay so u plus del u from here we can rewrite this f of u1 u2 up to un plus del u1 del uh, del u1 into del over del u1 plus del un uh, del u2 del over del u2 and so on up to del un del over del un of f plus half of del u1 del u1 and so on del un del over del un whole square f and so on uh, since the errors are relatively small so we may neglect the higher power so neglecting the higher power in the series and rearranging we may rewrite the again the equation as u plus del u is equal to f of u1 plus u2 i up to u n plus del u1 del over del 1 uh, del u1 and so on del u n del over del u n of f this is equation number 3 now using 1 and 3 we have del u is equal to del f by del u1 del u1 plus del f by del u2 del u2 and so on uh, this equation so del u may be written like this and this is known as the general form of the error formula and this a relative error we may write del u by u is equal to del u by del u1 del u1 by del u and so on this is this portion this whole portion is known as the total derivative of u okay so this is known as total derivative of u so now uh, for example let us suppose an example so you can take one example u is equal to 5xy square over z q and errors in x y z are given that is 0.001 then compute the relative maximum error er max in u when x is equal to y is equal to z is equal to 1 it is given then the solution first uh, you can find out the partial derivative with respect to x y and z So here you will get this is the partial derivative, and also you know uh, the formula. So you can write del u is equal to phi phi square uh, by z q, which is del u over del x into del x plus del u over del y into del y, and del u over del z of del z. We are already given that del x is equal to del y is equal to del z is 0.001, and x is equal to y is equal to z is 1. Then putting all these values, you will get the maximum that is 0.003. You will get it. Okay. So now, uh, what is the relative maximum? The relative maximum error you will get 0.006. Now this is one uh, second problem. We find the number of terms of the uh, um, exponential series such that their sum gives the values of e power x correct to five decimal places for all values of x in the range 0 to 1. Okay. So this is the problem. So you can find out the solution. the remainder term in e power x we know we can write x power n factorial n and e power j and j is the value between 0 to x okay so now maximum absolute error may be written as that is x power n by factorial n and this value at x is equal to 1 is 1 by factorial n and relative error also may be written like this the again you will get this and for x is equal to 1 we will get this value it means For five decimal accuracy at x is equal to one, we may write u1 over factorial n should be less than half of 10 raised to power minus five, and this inequality holds good when n is equal to nine. You can check this. So n is equal to nine. So after putting n is equal to nine here, uh, sorry, n is equal to nine means the number of terms in the exponential series should be nine. So how many number of terms? Nine number of terms. This will be the answer. Now for practice, this is for exercise for all the viewers. 
if n is equal to 10 x cube y square z square and error in x y and z are uh, respectively given that is 0 0.03 uh, 0 0.01 and 0 0.02 at x is equal to 3 as y is equal to 1 and z is equal to 2 then calculate the absolute error kya nikalna aapko absolute error and percentage relative error uh, in its calculation isko aapko calculate karna hai okay now second problem is to prove that if a positive number x if a positive number x has n correct digits and the relative error er does not exceed 1 by 10 power n minus 1 divided by the first significant digit of the given number or er is less than um, 1 by alpha m 1 by 10 power n minus 1 where uh, alpha m is the first significant digit of the number x then uh, you have to uh, find out that problem and write down the number of significant digits uh, 39.89, 6090, 8.00, 7.34 and 0.0082, 6.2, 10 power 4 and 9 into 10 power minus 3. So, in this problem you have to find out only ki, uh, how many significant digits in there in the individual numbers. Stay safe. Thank you.